What the hell happened to Versus 3D's YouTube channel? Let me explain. Okay, so you may be asking yourself, what kind of a dick starts a YouTube channel and then announces a contest and then doesn't make a video for like almost two months? Well, this guy. But I have a good reason. I have multiple good reasons actually. Not excuses, they're actually reasons. So bear with me. Okay, so here's the deal. What happened? It's a long story, so yeah. Anyway, so I started to get really busy at work. I mean, this is what I do. So I, there was a big trade show coming up and that's pretty much what I do. I do a lot of like trade show displays, custom designs, things like that. So, and I will show you because I have some right here. Um, let's see, we'll start with this one. Ta-da! So this is actually, these are all e-juice stands uh, for e-liquid for one of the big trade shows up here. And uh, this was in Canada, in Edmonton. So this holds like 15 bottles. Java juice, it's coffee cup, clearly. And then this is actually a new line. This one just launched called Insane 6. Um, this was actually made with my Palette Plus, which I will talk about a ton in another video because the folks at Mosaic were actually kind enough to send me a Mosaic Palette Plus to review and just run through all the ins and outs, things like that. So there's reason number one. So I got tied up with work and I just got busy. Then, um, 3D Printing Canada, which is the company that I did my contest for, which I'll get back to, um, asked me if I would be interested in doing some videos for them as well. So I'm crazy busy working, and then I say, hey, sure, I'll take some videos on. So I go do some videos for them. So now I'm crazy busy at work, and I'm doing videos for somebody else other than myself. Okay, spreading myself thin already. Bad idea. But it gets worse. So. My wife and I actually have another small company that um, because I'm so busy and she's so busy, neither one of us had time to run. So we had talked about selling it. And then um, within a matter of like 10 days, three people approached me and were like, hey, you know, if you're not doing this anymore, would you like to sell the company? And then we talked about it and decided, hey, that's the best thing to do. So uh, we luckily sold it to a, a friend and uh, he's going to take good care of it. So that's all good. That actually happened yesterday because it's like 5 a.m. right now. I couldn't sleep. So I figured, hey, let me wake up and do something. So anyway, that's done. Now, more time to devote. So in the meantime, in that whole time span where Chris disappeared, here's what happened. So crazy busy working, doing YouTube videos for 3D Printing Canada. So I finally get myself kind of like situated and I'm like, okay, I got all my parts. Let me do my uh, upgrade video because I wanted to, I just, I picked up uh, a Wayne Howe D7 from a friend and I mentioned that in another video and uh, he gave, it's the version 1.4 and he gave me all the parts to upgrade to 1.5. So I was like, hey, let me make a video doing this. So I got all set up. I had A roll, B roll going. I was all good to go. Grab the machine, put it on the table. I had cracked my LCD. Yeah, that was awesome. So of course, nobody had them in stock. Luckily, I called uh, 3D Prince Canada and they were placing an order with Wayne Howe the next morning. So I got lucky, they ordered me a new screen. So the new screen came. So in the meantime, I was like, well, hey, I'm all set up. Let me shoot a video on how to change the, uh, the FEP. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, on a resin printer, it's basically the bottom of the resin vat because it's just a very, very thin sheet of plastic so that um, the screen can project through it to the resin and cure it. Anyway, that's a coming video. So I did that, all set to go, and 
my computer died. Not kidding. This is my life. So, weeks go by. The, the unfortunate fact is um, I am a Mac guy through and through. It's not unfortunate to me, but it's unfortunate to a lot of people who don't like them, and I don't care. I love them. I will always love them. Uh, but the unfortunate fact is, in order for me to buy a new machine that was comparable to what I had because my computer died, mine was nine years old, I couldn't just go out and buy any parts for it. Um, so I had to do something. So to buy like the new iMac Pro in Canada, it would have been like $8,000. I don't have $8,000 kicking around to go buy a new computer. So I had to go to the dark side and I had to build a Windows machine. Um, but you know, it's actually rocking out pretty well. I finally got it all together and built it a few days ago. Um, as you can see, this is the new command center. So, Luckily, I did find out that it was only the, after I had gone through all the craziness, I found out that it was just the video card on the Mac, but again, it's a nine-year-old machine, you can't just go out and buy a video card for it, they don't make them. So I was kind of stuck. Oh, and on top of all that other stuff, I had gotten uh, some lights, because now you can actually see, um, it's not super dark down here, and I only have one on. Um, now if I only had a camera that was better, hint, hint, wife, um, that would be awesome. Anyway, so now that all that is settled, I'm excited to get back to doing what I do and uh, making some really cool products and coming up with new cool designs and all that stuff and moving forward with the videos. Um, so I'm going to do that. But now, back to the contest that I mentioned before. So because of this whole disaster that is my life, I am going to extend the contest for one more week. So today is June 1st. I am going to extend the contest till June 7th. So the contest is uh, two winners are going to get two kilos of 3D Printing Canada's um, PLA. Uh, one spool of white, one spool of red, and uh, what you need to do is watch the other video, which I will link down in the in the guy down here. Um, so you need to watch that and follow the instructions because I'm not going to see them on this video because I know people will watch this video and then post it. It's a big thing. Anyway, watch the other video. I'm going to link it and all that good stuff. So please stay tuned. I'm going to have some really great content coming soon, soon, soon. I've got the D7, two different videos for it. I'm going to have the Palette Plus. That's going to take a while, but it's going to be worth it. If you guys don't know what it is, look it up. It's amazing. Maybe if I can remember what I'm editing, I will post a video, uh, link down in the guy down there too. So until then, take care, and I will see you soon. I promise.